for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. The Most High has awakened many Israelites out of their slumber. The Most High wants to save the remainder of his people trapped in religion. By now, we all should know the Most High is not the founder of religion. Satan is the force and creator of religion. Satan created religion to imitate spirituality. In order to deceive the world, Satan must imitate the traditions and systems of the Most High, insert falsehood to deceive the masses into serving him. A good example, the God in the flesh concept. Religion disguised Satan as God in the flesh. Many believe the doctrine of the false Messiah as God in the flesh, despite the scriptures revealing you cannot see the Father and live. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. To the Israelites and strangers that wants to dig deeper, the scriptures reveal many instances the Most High made his presence known to his people. In all his interactions, his face is never revealed. The reason to support what the scriptures said, no one can see the Father and live. When the Most High descend on Mount Sinai, the scriptures reveal how magnificent the scene was. There was fire, wind, and earthquake, and smoke covered the mountain. And Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire, and the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quaked greatly. The presence of the Most High was too much that his people, the Israelites, were terrified. They stood afar. The Israelites said to Moses, You speak to us, because if Yah speak, we would die. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God is come to prove you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. And the people stood afar off. And Moses drew near unto the thick darkness where God was. The Most High's essence is too much for flesh. The human body cannot contain the Most High. When the Most High descended on Mount Sinai, Yah warned his people not to touch the mountain. If they did, they would die. And thou shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying, Take heed to yourselves, that ye go not up into the mount, or touch the border of it. Whosoever toucheth the mount shall be surely put to death. There shall not an hand touch it, but he shall surely be stoned, or shot through, whether it be beast or man, it shall not live. When the trumpet soundeth long, they shall come up to the mount. Our people could not touch the mountain when the Most High descended upon Mount Sinai. Yet the Most High became flesh and dwelt among his people, and Yah did not use the elements as a covering. Religion has made the Most High to be this passive man in the sky that tolerates everything. The people do not fear the Most High. That is why they believe they could do as they please and the Most High would forgive them. Through their lack of knowledge, they perish. The scripture said to fear the Most High is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Many people in this generation praise lawlessness. That is why the kingdom of darkness is dominating this generation. Before the Israelites could meet the Most High, when Yah descended on Mount Sinai, the Israelites had to sanctify themselves for three days. They could not meet the Most High covered in sin. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people, and sanctify them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes and be ready against the third day. 
For the third day the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. Remember, sin separates you from the Most High. When the Most High appeared to Moses in the form of a burning bush, the Most High commanded Moses to remove his shoes, because where he stood was holy ground. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. The Most High talked with Moses like a person speaking with a friend face to face. Whenever Yah descend to interact with Moses, Yah used the clouds to cover himself. And it came to pass, as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle, and the Lord talked with Moses. And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door. And all the people rose up and worshipped every man in his tent door. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. And he turned again into the camp, but his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. Although the scriptures reveal Yah spoke to Moses face to face, Moses spent forty days in the presence of the Most High when Yah descended on Mount Sinai. During the forty days, the Most High gave Moses the commandments. With the numerous intimate meetings Moses had with the Most High, Moses did not see the Most High's face. Moses asked the Most High to show him his glory. That is when Yah said to Moses, no one could see his face and live. Then he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. Every time the Most High interact with his people, the elements covered him. When Yah led his people out of the land of Ham, Mizraim, until the wilderness, Yah guide his people by using the clouds during the day and fire at night. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, to go by day and night. Israelites, the Messiah that came in the Father's name was a representative or reflection of the Most High, but not Yah in the flesh. 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 revealed that Yahshua is an image of the Most High, meaning he looks like the Father, just as the indigenous black people were made in Yah's image. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Anyone who does the will of the Most High are representatives of the Most High. Yah's spirit dwell in them, and they become one with the Most High. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. The reason Satan wants you to worship the Messiah, idolatry. The sin of idolatry, the Most High hates. The first commandment declare there should be no other gods before the Most High. If the kingdom of darkness encourages the people to worship another god, it will separate the Most High from his people. Every time our ancestors were exiled from the presence of the Most High, it was due to the sin of idolatry. Another reason religion pushes the doctrine of God in the flesh, Satan wanted to be like the Most High. In order to receive the worship he lusts after, Satan disguised himself as the Most High in the flesh. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yah does not operate in the flesh. Remember, the scripture says Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. So does his ministers. It is important for the people of the Most High to come out of religion because religion is leading the sheep on the broad road that leads to destruction. The doctrines of devils being taught to the sheep is causing many to stumble. Religion is idolatry. 
Yah said the Israelites would be scattered all over the world. While living in the land of their captivity, they would serve gods that their ancestors have not known. Gods made from man's hands, carved out of wood and stone. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. The scriptures said the Israelites are serving a foreign god in the land of their captivity. This should conclude the idols many people worship in religion is a foreign god that our ancestors have not known. If we are serving idols in the land of our captivity, this should conclude the Messiah that came in his own name that the world accepts and believe is God in the flesh is not the Elohim of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Israelites, Ask the Most High to reveal his truth to you. Do not accept the doctrines coming from the pulpits of workers of iniquity. Your oppressors do not have your best interests at heart. If the workers of iniquity wanted to see you win, they would not have stolen your identity. Write you out of history. Teach lies to you in religion and their school systems to maintain your oppression. It is time that you come out of the beast system. Idolatry was the Israelites' downfall, and idolatry continues to prevail in many Israelites' and strangers' lives. Religion via the church has the sky Satan as the Most High. In addition, the Most High said via his words, The things which the Gentile heathens sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to the Most High. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. The scriptures is clear of the traditions being observed in religion are meant to glorify idols, not the most high. The altar call is a tradition that many Israelites and strangers who profess to love the Elohim of Israel need to be mindful of. Beware of the altar calls. Evil altars could strip you of your glorious destiny the Most High gave to you. At an evil altar, covenants are made with devils. The workers of iniquity who disguise themselves as men and women of God made the sheep believe the altar call is where you pray and make your petition known to the Most High. However, behind the scenes, the God behind their altars are idols. During the altar calls, the workers of iniquity sacrifice their congregation to their idols. Many sheep are forging covenants with devils through the altar call. The church or religion is not what the beast system has led many to believe. Remember, we live in a world full of illusions. The kingdom of darkness made the sheep believe they are helping while hurting you in the process. The pandemic is an incredibly good example. The workers of iniquity shut down the economy, causing many to lose their jobs. Due to the record number of job loss, hardship and stress is destroying many families. The government bribed the people with a stimulus package to help ease the hardship. The same people who offer you the stimulus are the same people behind the scenes attacking you with the biochemical called coronavirus. Israelites, I hope you're beginning to understand how the kingdom of darkness operate through the beast system. Religion is the most effective way the kingdom of darkness is controlling the people. The Most High is calling his people out of religion and the beast system. The way the Most High is accomplishing his desire to save his people is through trials and tribulations. Israelites, it is important that you do not dismiss the trials. Take the time to examine yourself and find out what the Most High is revealing to you via the trials and tribulations. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. I have talked to many people and family members that are fed up with the church. Although they are stressed, many are hanging on to religion. 
Many Israelites and strangers believe that is what they are supposed to do. They fear if they leave religion, they would be misled and fall by the wayside. What many Israelites fail to realize, they are being misled in the church. To make their circumstances even worse, many Israelites are unaware they are on the broad road to destruction in religion. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Israelites, the hardship taking place in your life are meant to encourage you to leave religion and the beast system. Too many Israelites are comfortable in the temple of sin. The Most High must make you uncomfortable to motivate you to leave to save your life. If you are comfortable, would you leave? The remnant of his people that are predestined to the coming kingdom, the Most High will lead you on many trials and tribulations to get you to seek his face and to stay on the narrow road that leads to life. Israelites, do not despise trials and tribulations. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. Israelites, it is important that you do not confuse hardship from a trial that is meant to elevate you with oppression that is meant to destroy you from the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of darkness and the workers of iniquity trials are to oppress and to make sure you fail in life. While the trials and tribulations you face with the Most High are meant to elevate and to prosper you. It is important that you discern between the two. If not, you would miss many opportunities coming from the Most High. Let us talk about the oppression from the kingdom of darkness. Oppression from the kingdom of darkness is to control. When you face oppression like discrimination, racism, classism, poverty, and many adverse attacks against you, these trials are meant for destruction. Do not accept or normalize these trials from the kingdom of darkness. Too many Israelites accept oppression because they are led to believe it is a part of the curses. The Most High will use the oppression coming from the kingdom of darkness to judge the wicked of his people. If you are seeking the face of the Most High, serving Yah and encounter oppression like the ones mentioned, that is the kingdom of darkness trying to stop you from accomplishing Yah's will in your life. For example, YouTube censor, disrupt, and does all kinds of diabolical things behind the scenes to be sure this channel does not grow or reach a larger audience. This kind of oppression stems from the kingdom of darkness. The workers of iniquity use these strategies to destroy channels hoping the creators would quit. Do not submit but fight back from oppression from the kingdom of darkness. Israelites, the Most High make you uncomfortable to motivate you to seek an alternative path. In addition to look deeper into your situations, you must get out of your comfort zone. If not, you will perish with the workers of iniquity. Do not be partakers with them. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. The kingdom of darkness does not seek to establish a covenant with you to help you. They establish covenants to take control and bring forth their will into your life. When a person establishes covenants with the kingdom of darkness, the trials and tribulation that comes from these covenants will destroy you if you do not repent. Many Israelites in this generation establish numerous covenants with the kingdom of darkness and have yet to benefit from any of those covenants. The scripture said to make no covenants with them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. When you establish covenants with the kingdom of darkness, you give Satan permission to destroy you. It never ends well for the people of the Most High seeking an alternative path from Yah for deliverance. The workers of iniquity are doing what they are predestined to do. Why the people of the Most High not doing what they are called to do? What is stopping you from taking your place? Religion is not meant for the people of the Most High. Religion is for pagans to worship their idols and rebel against the Most High. Remember, religion is idolatry. The church has become a habitation for failed businessmen to make a comeback by disguising themselves as pastors to live off the provision from the sheep. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple 
and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. The church is a place where harlots disguise themselves as Proverb 31 women to find a husband. The church is a place for whoremongers to find an abundance of silly women laden with sin to rule over while disguising themselves as a man of God. The church is a habitation for every foul, unclean spirits. Every day there is a scandal. Who would continue to be associated with a place like this? The Most High said he would build his church and the gates of hell would not prevail against it. And I say also unto thee, that thou art beaten upon this rock. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Israelites, you are the church. Your body is the temple that housed the spirit of the Most High, not the building. Does what religion present to us as the temple of Yah, a dwelling place for the Alpha and the Omega, the supreme ruler of all, the creator, the Elohim of Israel, established to defeat the kingdom of darkness? The workers of iniquity was able to shut down the churches all over the world through the so-called pandemic. If you believe religion represents the Most High, you are sadly mistaken. You do not know the Elohim of Israel. The Most High could do exceedingly above and beyond what anyone could dream of. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Religion is an imitation of spirituality for the workers of iniquity to still kill and destroy. Every Israelite should stand far away from the house of bondage. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. When the Most High said to come out of her, my people, Yah is pleading with his people to come out of religion as well as the beast system. The beast system carry out the terms of the covenant the sheep established with the kingdom of darkness in religion. Satan is leading many astray via the church. The Most High came to give you life. Israelites, you will never find deliverance if you continue in religion. Take heed to the Most High's warnings and come out of her. The scripture said in the last days, knowledge would increase. Israelites, what are you going to do with the abundance of knowledge the Most High is making available to you? But now it's right.